Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the get function in the Firebase Firestore database, uh, which will allow you to retrieve information from your database. If you recall from our last tutorial, I had a data collection called users that had documents in it with uh, fields for email and username and we were just in the last tutorial I'll show you how they add to it we were just adding usernames I manually was adding the email field in here um, could very well have, have added it using the same method that I showed you but this is just for simplicity shape sake and I'm going to show you how to retrieve that now and display it in your web page okay so the get function is pretty straightforward to use in Firestore. Uh, the web, when you're using a web interface, this is what it would look like. You, um, in the last tutorial, I showed you how you made a call to the Firebase with the DB object. And so we're gonna continue to use that DB object. And we see db.collections, the name of the collection, which I just showed you was users. And you do a dot get which will uh, allow you to start retrieving information and you do this then snapshot and this snapshot object is holds all the different documents in your collection it even holds more than just the documents but obviously we're only interested in the documents but more than that i mean it holds ids of the documents and things like that so but we're just going to grab the snap snapshot.docs which are the documents and the way I'm showing you this is I'm actually sending it to a custom function called get info that I created uh, and what happens in that function is uh, I have a, uh, a parameter called data that is now you know snapshot is dot docs is now data in this function and we're gonna go through and look at each uh, field, no, I'm sorry, look at each document that's in that snapshot. And so we do data dot for each, and each document is represented by a appropriately named variable called doc when we're inside the for each loop. And to get the data that's inside the doc, you have to do this call doc doc data, right? And so that's right here. And we're gonna save that to this info variable. And then we can use that variable to call specific fields. So you, you drill down, you start with your collection called users. Then we look at each document and inside each specific document, we can look at different bits of uh, fields that are in there. And so the one that we're interested in is the username. And so um, I have a, a, some extraneous code around this that's gonna create it and format it nicely so it creates a list that will help us display it on our uh, HTML page. And just for clarity's sake, I'm using this document dot get element by ID, which is gonna call an area in our web page to store this in its inner HTML part. That's it, so let's take a quick look at, um, this happens to be the area on the in the HTML page where I'm going to store uh, this information. Uh, the name of this is uh, gave it the ID name list. And if we scroll down, you can see here is that get call. Uh, then we pass the snapshot to our get info. And inside here, we go through the for loop and we grab the info.username to display it to the screen. Uh, here is the ID tag that I was talking about before, and we save it to the inner HTML of that page. And so if you wanna see that in action, uh, that's right here. Here are the, the usernames. Um, I could go ahead and add another one. Um, let's go Hank, create. And if I hit refresh, you see that we now have Hank in there. Um, so just so you see, I can use this info dot call to get all the different fields. And here I'm displaying the email field to the JavaScript console. So if we actually were to look at the J 
JavaScript console, you would see here are the emails. Now I didn't add one for Hank, so uh, his comes back as undefined. But there you go. That's the quick and easy of a get call in Firestore to let you retrieve information. In future videos, I'll show you how to do more complicated get calls where we just retrieve very specific documents and even just very specific fields within those documents. Thanks. I hope you like that. Let me know if you have any questions.